Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, a channel which talks about everyday finances for everyday people. If you're new around here, my name is Cheryl and I share my financial journey online. On Instagram a couple of weeks ago, I shared that I was pregnant with my second child and I am so excited. Of course, all I want is for baby to be healthy, but there has been something else that's been on my mind whilst I've been pregnant and that is my finances for maternity leave. I was going to initially keep this for myself because like I was kind of scared, but um, at the same time I figured, you know what, I'm going to share the journey and I'm going to share any any tips, anything I discover along the way and hopefully it'll help others as well. First of all, let's just set the context. I want maternity leave to be fun. I want to just enjoy my special time with my children. Obviously I'm not in the best financial situation right now so I think money will be a little bit of a worry but I, if I can lessen the impact by preparing in advance now, that's all that matters. So as soon as I found out I was pregnant, obviously it was very early, but one of the first things I did was I decided to start stocking up because that was just regular things anyway. So from December, I decided to stock up on everything I would need for maternity leave. It's not gone 100% to plan because my cravings kicked in and then I was constantly over budget in January and February. However, things have settled down a bit in March and I'm hoping to pick it up again. I got bin bags, shower gel, hand wash, toothpaste and I think that was it for now but yeah it's surely mounting up and the goal is by the time I go on maternity leave I want to have dry foods, toiletries and cleaning products ready for each month. So the second thing I'm going to be doing is saving a £2,000 emergency fund and it was kind of hard to decide that figure because obviously £2,000 isn't enough to live off for a year. I definitely wanted to have something that was quite large just to cover me at least for a few weeks and buy me a bit of time. So I decided a £2,000 emergency fund would be brilliant. The way I'm saving for that is kind of hit and miss right now. I'm trying to be under budget. If I go out I budget £30 for an event and I actually end up spending less then I'll put that change into the savings. I am trying to like side hustle as much as I can. I'm struggling just with energy and time at the minute. Um, so I'm also hoping my Google Me Free account can help me make a bit of extra income as well. Third thing I'm doing is I am preparing a list of side hustles. So this could be anything from mystery shopping to selling to even market research or even just products that I can create and sell and add value to other people's lives. The fourth thing I'm doing is a bill audit. That's basically where I list all the bills that I have to pay every month. So that can be anything from my rent to my energy bills. It can even be Spotify and Audible and stuff. And then basically I've gone through each one of the bills and I've asked two questions. One, when I go on maternity leave, do I need this bill or is it just a want and nice to have? If I still need the bill, then the second question is, have I got the best deal? So for example, energy, um, have I been with my supplier for a while? Is it time that I look on the comparison site and find a better deal? One of the first things I'll be cancelling is Spotify um, because it's just not a need. And then also as well, I am hoping to be debt free. And then finally, the last thing is, which is completely unrelated to baby, but is actually by my son's school uniform now. So I noticed that his clothes were starting to look a little worn in and obviously he needed new items but I figured you know what I'm actually going to size up because that should last him whilst I'm on maternity leave as well I mean if it doesn't it's not the end of the world but definitely trying to get his school uniform in advance and to be honest any of the clothes as well that he needs like really sizing up if I see any offers getting them now because it'll just be one less worry to worry about knowing that he's got clothes to grow into. So that's the five things that I'm doing to prepare for when baby comes. Um, I want to make sure that maternity leave's so nice like you know I don't have visions of going to loads of fancy places and massive day trips. All our vision is just like a nice walk around 
around the park, playing at home with baby, meeting up with a few other mums, like that's the type of things that I envision. I don't want to feel the pressure to have to go to work after like three months. I would love to be on maternity leave for a year and I would really, really love to in, just enjoy time with baby. It's so, so important to me. So anyway, if you like this video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will speak to you soon. Bye.